Today we're brining a turkey. Come on in and welcome to my home. Today's recipe came about because my nephew is coming down. And since he's coming down, what I decided I needed to do was cook some big meal. So I'm gonna make a turkey. Now, how do we do this turkey? Well, I brined my spring turkey. How do you brine a spring turkey? It's really easy. Let's start off with the ingredients. We have our salt and our seasonings and water. All you do is you put the salt, seasonings, and water into a pan and bring it to a boil or at least get it hot enough to melt all of your salt. So your salt is completely dissolved. Now, one of the things to remember is make sure that you are using coarse salt. If you're using just regular fine table salt, it's not going to work as well. Then, once all of my ingredients are, are uh, dissolved, then I let this cool. I can let it cool to room temperature or you can add ice to your, to your uh, brine mix. So, what do I do next? Really easy. I put my room temperature mix into a bucket or a container or a bag or something that will hold my turkey. I am using a container that's a food grade container. After I do that, I add more water and I add my turkey. Just put the turkey into the container and make sure that it is completely covered with water. Then I add the rest of my ingredients onions and everything. Remember the ingredients are all listed below. Then I stick this into my refrigerator and let this marinate overnight or brine overnight. But make sure that it is in a cool place. Now if this were winter time and my garage were cold, I'd put it out in the garage because it would be cold enough to do that. However, since this is springtime, I had to put it into my refrigerator. Once it's been in there overnight, let's take it out. I'm making sure to drain my turkey very, very well, and then I'm going to put it onto a plate. We'll put this brine, we're going to discard the brine because it cannot be used. For this next step, you can use paper towels, or if you're like me and don't have paper towels and don't use paper towels, you're just going to pat dry your turkey. Now I'm going to put my turkey into my roasting pan. Simple so far, right? Here's the cool part. My oven's preheated at 325 degrees. All I have to do now is roast the turkey according to how many pounds this is. This is an eight and a half pound uh, turkey, so I'm going to be roasting it for about two and a half hours with it open. Don't have to do anything else. It is already seasoned. All the seasoning has been, has been infused into the flesh, into the meat, so we can go ahead and roast the turkey and then let it cool. So let's get this in the oven and we'll roast it. While my turkey is roasting, I have a rag or a cloth with hot water and soap. I am going to thoroughly and completely scrub my area down so that I don't have to worry about germs. I want you to make sure that you scrub your area down whenever you're using poultry and that sort of thing so that, that way your area gets nice and clean. But make sure it is completely cleaned using the best disinfectants that you have. Our turkey is out of the oven and now I'm going to let it sit for about 10 minutes before I do anything to it because it just needs to cool and sort of firm up before I even try to take it out of the pan and put it onto a platter. We're going to slice off a piece of this turkey. I just cut a small piece of the turkey. Now let's give it a taste. That's a good turkey. It has a great seasoning. It's it's uh, salty enough. It's not too salty. This is a really good turkey. I'm impressed with this. It was so easy to make. All I had to do is put it into the brine, then roast it. It took no time. So easy to make and so good. If you make this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little subscribe button there. Every Tuesday is a recipe, and I love making these recipes for you. And I hope I get to see you again next time.